Hello everyone and welcome to the Arts Embodiment Show, your favorite show of the week, a show where we bring to you love, talent and inspiration. And in the house today have got amazing people. <laughs> Amazing people are uh, joining us today. We have Josphat Mutale, who is popularly known as Unza Busa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, you viewers, uh, you you actually know this man. Maybe you've never seen him, but you've heard of him. Then I've also got uh, Mr. Kelly, uh, the 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 founder of uh, Ikazi Consulting Services. And today we are going to talk about very very interesting things. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mr. Vincent. Thank you very much. Let, let me start with you, sir. Today yeah. is your birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are going to sing you happy birthday by, right. the, by the end of this show. Right, and, yeah. Yeah, uh, can you just kindly tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Kerry Muyangwa Ikachana and um, I was born in January, 30th January, yeah, 1991. Um, we, I come from within Osaka. Yeah, I'm a founder for Ikaz Consulting Services Company. Mm -hmm. India, to, to, today I, I actually saw your, pic, your, your picture on Mueva and Tua. Oh, <laughs> oh <Doing> yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, so it was my birthday, so, <laughs> yeah. to po so the, 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 the editor actually, yeah, uh, the yeah. admin decided to post it for me actually. Oh, yeah, it, was, it was actually a surprise for me as well. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. great. Coming to you, sir. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you very much for this uh, lovely opportunity to be here with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, my full name is Joseph Fadim I was born in 1994. I'm a current uh, for the student at the University of Zambia, studying Library Information Science and Development Studies. But from that, I'm, I'm, I'm an apostle, ordained apostle, and I'm also a minister of guidance and religious affairs at the University of Zambia. Yeah, so now let's start with you. Uh, okay. Now that you are a minister, uh, like, did, did you see yourself at any point when you are filing in to, to, to stand? Like, did, did you see your, your, yourself being a minister at any point? Yeah, I, I, I saw myself becoming a minister, though it wasn't easy. Mm. I remember when I was starting, when I made a decision to say I want to contest, uh, as a minister of guidance and religious affairs, somebody told me to say, uh, you know what, Joshua, if you can um, see yourself getting there, then you get there. The only thing that you need to do is to believe. Yeah. So it, it, it wasn't easy, though. So I believed, though the competition was very tough. tough Looking yeah. at the University of Zambia, there are about uh, 36,000 students. Oh, wow. And what ideas or ideologies <laughs> are you going to bring on the to table? Uh, to convince those intellectuals to vote for you. So it wasn't easy, but I saw myself getting there. But how to get there, that's, that was a challenge. Was a challenge. Yeah. Coming, coming to you, sir, because uh, now I'm pretty sure that you are getting a lot of contracts from Ikazi. So mm. the, the day that you, because I'm pretty sure that you sat down at some day and say, no, I have to come up with a consulting sure, service sure, sure, company sure, sure, so sure, sure. did you see yourself to be having these contracts that you're having now uh at first yeah because uh, at first when i started this because uh before i didn't register but i just started it just doing some offering some services <laughs> you know i just used to offer some services so i decided no i think the uh, this time around let me register it and start running it now that's why i decided to come up with this uh ikas consulting services company so yeah. like like what kind of services do you do you give? Uh, actually, ICAS consulting services is structured. I've, tr I've structured it into th three categories. We have got uh, the business advisory and the technical advisory and the training and development. So the business advisory, uh, that's why we help in our uh, business services uh, company registration, um, a lot of uh, project company profile, just a lot of businesses. And uh, where we come to the training and development, that's where we we help our people with. Um, uh, the training of the project management team and the monitoring, how to collect data, data correction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those are the services we offer as ICAS Consulting Services. Yeah. Coming to you, sir, uh, we saw what happened last day at, at the <laughs> university. Like the entire school went so crazy about you. They were so much in love with you. Uh, did, 
did you actually know that that's the number of crowd that you are going to pull? Okay, um, honestly, I can say it also with an imagination. <laughs> I was imagining mm. uh, such kind of a crowd, yeah. but the current situation wasn't determining <laughs> to have such. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, really hard for me. I remember I started campaigning. Um, I, I never had any money. Mm. And for if we, we, at the University of Zambia, we've got these people that are well known. Yeah, yeah. For them to campaign for you, you need to pay them money. And I remember charging, they, they told me to say, if you want us to, to help you, you need to be charging us kisti kwacha per day. Mm. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm a student and I haven't yet received <laughs> yeah, my allowances. Yeah. What am I going to do? So um, with time, I, I, I tried all my, my methods. Uh, it wasn't working out. I tried door-to-door -door campaigning, trying to talk to people. You know, this uh, religious ministry has got a lot of issues. Lot of issues yeah. Yeah. So people would ask me questions. And as a pastor, where do you want to stand? Where do you want to find yourself in politics? So I had to bring out scriptures for me to defend myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then I saw, okay, <laughs> this is not working out. Yeah. So what am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, I remember praying. And I was like, God, calm down for me. Mm -hmm. and then, okay, I'm praying, but... Everybody out there is praying, yeah. especially in this position where we're six of us and we're all Christians, all going to church. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God, what am I going to do? And God told me to say, just use what you have. Mm. Just like Moses, he asked Moses to say, uh, Moses asked God to say, how am I going to deliver the Israelites? Then God asked Moses, so what do you have in your hands? So that's the same thing that came to me. What do you have in your hands? They're like, okay. I'm a singer, I can sing. Okay, let me, maybe I try this because I don't have money to buy speakers and all that. Yeah, yeah. So that's how I started singing. A bit by bit, I started gaining the mileage, political mileage, bit by bit, bit by bit, until God stepped down. It was, whoa. Yeah. Everybody was We saw like the intense, <laughs> like, whereas, <laughs> and, and, and we saw the the people now started saying, "Unza busa for praise do and all that." So, like, how 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 did you feel when when they were saying that? Okay, uh, I, I got that temptation. Like, ah, I wished I fought for president. president. But before uh, even election time came in, I remember uh, God uh, speaking to me through someone to say, "I so saw you've been selected, been elected," but I didn't understand where. Wow. So as I prayed about it, then God told me to say, okay, this is how it's going to be. You go on this position and you people will be chanting for praise though, but while you are going on the other position. Wow. So that was all in my imagination. Yeah. Like, okay, God spoke to me. But looking at the current situation, like I said earlier on, nothing was happening. Mm -hmm. And the time when the ground was fatal, now people started Unza Busa for praise though. Then now my mother like, oh, what I saw way back. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, okay, so mm. this is how it works. And mm. I, I learned something to say if you you have a vision for yeah. something, just like my brother, his company. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he imagined to say I want to have something like this. And he had to put in all his effort and it came to pass. Mm. So that's how it worked for me. Yeah, uh, Sakeli, looking at your your works that you are you are doing at your company, because we've we've been seeing you like being selected to go to Ghana for oh, the youth oh, congress yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in business. And now, someone who is watching this, they they are actually thinking like you started with a lot of money, like like you just woke up and say, I'm going to start that business and I have the money. I'm going to start the so. Can you kindly tell us how you started? Like, did you had uh, like have the money when you were starting, or the money began to to come along the way? All right, thank you very much. That's a very good, important question. Okay, um, actually, the way I started this business, actually, I started first and foremost, I was an employee. So you know, <laughs> I used to work for people. You know, where yeah. you. I used to work, I used to work a weekend, right? That's why I raised the money. I just said, no, I think this time around, I, I need to start up my own thing. And that's yeah. stuff. I need to start up my own thing. So I decided, that's why I actually raised capital. I used to reserve money, a bit of a saving, actually. Yeah, so I said, now I have to come up with something. 
basis uh, okay let me come up since uh, i did my accounting at uh, i was at zika so that's why i did my accounting. So i was like mm, why should i be working for this services that i can offer on my own out there oh, yeah. so yeah, i said yeah. let me just come up with one thing <laughs> and start offering the same services mm-hmm. yeah that's why i came up with the uh ecas uh, consulting services yeah so so, so 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 like what can you tell someone who wants to start a, a business but then they are looking at their current position and they think like they they don't have the money they don't have the skill they don't have the mind for the business uh, one thing actually they uh, asked youth we need to do is uh, mm, uh, we, we, not, we need to choose, we like too much choosing jobs. So, you know, uh, one thing that I would like to guy not choose something to do. Do whatever you find, raise yeah. money, and then later let after, do, do another thing. Because if you are to working for, you're working, working, you save money for the whole year, and then you, you plan to do, you just need to have a target, and then you start uh, after you have raised that amount of money, mm-hmm. then you can do your own thing. You find that you keep on changing every year, every year. Just uh, what you need to, uh, very, very, one thing is very important is just saving and then you do, because you need to choose job whereby you are a graduate, you are from school. I uh, know me, I cannot do this, I cannot do this because yeah, yeah, yeah. you think, I uh, know I've got a qualification. You remain yeah. unemployed for, uh, for forever. Yeah, exactly. You, you need to start up with anything, whatever you find, yeah, yeah you just have to. Because me, well, first and foremost, uh, some of the jobs I used to work at first, but I was a graduate. So <laughs> <sometimes>. <laughs> I, I, I might say maybe I worked at uh, yeah, uh, yeah. the gym, you know, so <laughs> stuff. I started just like that yeah. until I rise and then that's how I said it come with my own thing so there, mm-hmm. there, there are so many Christians who are rooted in, in the way sitting out there and just saying no I can't be a politician but they are they are seeing what the politics are able to do and what they are not able to do but then they are they are thinking that politics is just a dirty game and mm-hmm. and all that like what can you tell them all right, I would tell my, my fellow Christians, because uh, I remember when I was campaigning, mm-hmm. uh, people were asking me some questions mm-hmm. to say, how come you are a pastor <laughs> and <laughs> you want to involve yourself in politics? In politics. <laughs> and I told them to say, look, I want to involve myself in politics because I'm not happy of the decisions that have been made out there. Yeah. Then I realized one thing to say, politicians make decisions. Yeah. They are police makers. Yeah. Yeah, they, are, they are the ones that hold uh, this country. So, if any decision they make which is not good is going to affect you and me, it's going to affect whether you're a pastor, you're a prophet, you're a bishop, it's going to affect you. If the government today was to wake up and say, uh, no church shall worship uh, on Sunday, definitely no one will do that because they've got power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, even when we look in the Bible, we saw Daniel. Daniel, he was a prophet used by God. You would see visions. He would interpret dreams. And God chose him to be the prime minister that was political. Mm. Not only Daniel, but um, also Joseph. Joseph, yeah. Yeah. Joseph, he was, he was a prophet as well. But he was chosen to be the prime minister. Why was he chosen to be the prime minister? Because God, so to say, there will be a famine in, in some places in that mm. land. So if we choose Joseph, who is more knowledgeable and he has the wisdom from God, they are going to preserve some what? Some food. So that the people out there that are suffering, they'll be able to do what? To feed them. Feed them. That's what a politician do. Yeah. So it's item for us Christians, for Christ, especially Christian leaders mm-hmm. who are out there, to stand up, join politics. Politics is not a dirty game, but the art that one engages himself in, that what, that's what makes it dirty. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was, I was into uh, politics at the uh, University of Zambia, and I would see to say other people would buy beer, they would yeah, attack yeah, each yeah, other, yeah, yeah. and I decided to do different things. I followed a different route, and yeah, it worked and, for me. And that's a question <laughs> that I I want to ask because at the University of Zambia, when you want to win as a politician, you need to have big speakers. You you <laughs> need to buy a lot of beer for the guy. You, you need to have a lot of girls that, that, that are backing you and yeah. all that. But Coco's like for someone who wants to go in politics at Unza, they normally say, no, you have to follow the trend at Unza. You yeah. cannot just come with the, like being intelligent and all that and say, no, me, I want to go this intellectual way. Like yeah. it doesn't happen. But for you, like, like we all got up. Like how, how did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, on, on that one, 
Yeah, it's it's tough to win an election at Monza. Yeah. You have to come up with something different. It's more like we've all gone for a job interview with the same qualifications, mm. but what will make one to be different for him to be to be picked for that job? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, people had speakers, they had cadres, buy beer and all that. So it's like, okay, what am I going to do for me to win these people? Yeah. So okay, I'm going to use what I have. God has, has blessed me. I'm a singer. So let me start singing. I am a composer of music of songs. Mm. So let me start composing songs. So I I wanted something simple, but unique, that everybody would fall into it because we all had ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I, I I just came up with this song, and it just went viral. And prayer on top also worked for me because I remember I attended a debate, and in that debate. I went with my people, let me say, call them cadres. <laughs> I went with them and I only went with 10 people. When I got in there, there were quite a number of people who were supporting other opponents. Yeah. Even my people got scared that they left the place before I spoke. <laughs> before I, I, before I, I went there to debate. Yeah. So what happened? The time I was debating, trying to give out my ideas, they were making noise. Boo, you don't have data, this and that, this and that. So I, I came out of that place furious. And I remember I went around the university praying. I said, God help me. God help me. I was praying. And people made me like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Bosa is crazy. Bosa is, <laughs> is, is just praying in tongues throughout mm. the institution. Then the following morning, I was alone. But the following day, they saw a number of people following me and to make things worse they were campaigning i wasn't there yeah they'll start on their own they're campaigning on my behalf now yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm not there yes, because i was also asking the guys who is on the boat <laughs> like it was all over the, the place and that. Yeah, yeah so that, that's that's the thing people didn't know me even right now they don't know me like when they meet me ah so yeah there was a pusa yeah. i went to my pots because my pots are no longer working <laughs> 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 So that's it. Yeah, sir. Uh, you, we, we have so many people in the nation. They are reading books. They, 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 they did some business courses. They, are, they have started their com their company and all that. But they don't seem to get the opportunities that you are getting. Like they've never been Im invited, like out outside the country to go for a for a conference or for a business. So, how did you prepare yourself? to be in such a way that you are able to attract the people from outside the country. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what really uh, uh, attracted the people is, um, I think some of the services I was offering, uh, the exposure I was, I was in, sometimes meeting my grand and that stuff. And then uh, uh, this uh, uh, One Africa conference that um, I've been selected, in Ghana. Uh, it's a post that I just I saw, it was on a website, and I just saw it, I just started, mm. it said, let me apply. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, for, uh, yeah, first I applied, there were about 100 people, I was selected about 100 people, so they reduced the number to 15, and they reduced the number to 15. So the people are representing uh, Zambia, uh, in Ghana, One African Conference, sponsored by DDN, uh, DDN Africa, actually, yeah. So I was selected to go there, so it's it's really inspired me as well because it was just a surprise because uh, me, I just applied and then I just received on my email, you know, you have been accepted, this and this and this and this. Oh, so, so, so like, were you supposed to like tell them the kind of business that you do in there? Uh, because at first, uh, yeah, it was an interview, what you are doing and oh. uh, because uh, we have a theme for this year, it was uh, entrepreneurship and an ideal, yeah, yeah, entrepreneurship and ideal to, be, uh, to unite Africa. So it was all about entrepreneurship. So one thing that I wrote on the website, they just asked me questions about entrepreneurs and that stuff during the interview. That's how I was selected, actually. There were like, actually a lot of questions, about 20 of them. So like, it was oh, something yeah. like an exam. So I was, that's how I got uh, selected, actually, huh? to represent wow. Zambia yeah, at the One Africa Conference in Ghana in July. That's, that's, that's so amazing. July, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, sir, uh, the, there's that point where I personally feel like you started your preparation a long time ago, but there was just this day where, like, just in a day, the entire school went so crazy about you. Like, how did you feel? Because wow. I'm sure, like, when starting, it was just dry, dry, yes. dry. Then 
Yeah, <laughs> when starting actually, uh, we uh, I was I was alone. Then I met some some uh, three guys who were drunk. Yeah. And I, I just embraced them, and I, I told them about myself. I was like, Ah, how come you want to join? You want us to join you? Well, we are drunk. I was yeah. like, No, <laughs> uh, we we are all one people. Yeah. Yes, God does does not care whether you drink or what. God loves everyone. So like, okay, so we were campaigning for all of us. And it was really, really hard for me. And we started campaigning, campaigning. But the time that I saw that mob, it was around um, 24. Yeah, yeah. 24. That was midnight. I saw that. I, I, I saw a mob that I never laid before. People in boxers. And <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. I just yeah. dropped my tears. I was like, oh my God. I cried. I was like, I, I can't believe this. Is it me? Maybe yeah. I'm dreaming or what? But it went on, on, on until the entire university was awake until 04. That's when the. Yeah, yeah. Because I, <laughs> I remember me, I went to, to sleep around 03 or something like that. Because I was part of the mob. Yeah, so people <laughs> campaigning. I cried. I was like, I'm not going to the room. I, I yeah. didn't believe that. I didn't even sleep in the room. I remember going to the room around zero, zero three, uh, so, sorry, zero five. Mm. And people were like, no, there are people that came looking for you here. <laughs> yeah. Where is this Mr. Busa guy? <laughs> and all that. And this drunkard guy just came to say, ah, man of God, Mr. Busa, just pray for me. This mm. grace is too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, before we go on a short break, do you mind just singing? Ah, <laughs> Hey. <laughs> okay, you know, it's, it's a simple song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes like this. Ah, hey, oh, 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 Trevor in the house is gonna give us his <laughs> new track. We'll see you after a short break. Let's <laughs> person, always laughing, always giving love, oh, yeah, caring. That, that one, that there. Uh, Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those music videos that I played out for you. And I must but if you stay away from instructions. There's a prisoner. And he comes up from one day, he becomes a prisoner, he becomes prime minister in, 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 in Egypt. Because that guy has the answer. And you know, and God sent him there in order to facilitate salvation, even for his own family. They brought a soul to him. They didn't even think that he has got anything to offer. But this young man was their salvation. Without this one young man, they could not have lived. Mm. Have... have nice things. Have good friends, but don't ever think that makes you better than somebody else. And if you don't have those things, don't ever think that makes you less than somebody else. At Manzi Valley, we pride ourselves in giving you the cleanest and safest mineral water on the Zambian market. Our mineral water is produced in the cleanest and most hygienic, germ-free environment in Zambia. And that's just a fact. We at Natural Valley take pride in the quality of our product so that you can safely enjoy our mineral water, rich in minerals, to satisfy that thirst and revitalize your body. So grab a bottle of Manzi Valley Mineral Water now to beat that thirst with the cleanest bottled water in Zambia. Looking for a well-trained maid? Well, look no further. Come to Antiviolet's Maid Center and get yourself a maid that is trained to take care of your home with less supervision. 
Anti-Violet Maid Center, situated along Kamloops next to the Catholic Church in Kalingalinga. For details, call 977 120016 Laughing, always giving love, oh, yeah, caring. That, that one, that there. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those music videos that I played out for you. And I must but if you stay away from instructions. There's a prisoner. And he comes up from one day, he becomes a prisoner, he becomes prime minister in, 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 in Egypt. Because that guy has the answer. And you know, and God sent him there in order to facilitate salvation, even for his own family. They brought a soul to him. They didn't even think that he has got anything to offer. But this young man was their salvation. Without this one young man, they could not have lived. Mm. Have... have nice things. Have good friends, but don't ever think that makes you better than somebody else. And if you don't have those things, don't ever think that makes you less than somebody else. Hello, welcome back to the Art Embodiment Show. I think. Right about now, I'm just going to leave it up to the big man to give us his new single. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Okay, thanks, man. MB's generation music. Trevor. Trevor. Christ is my king, I don't care what they say. Kim Nachi. <laughs> T4. Let's go. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Yo, sis, yo. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a cop. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Yo, sis, yo. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a cop. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Yo, sis, yo. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a cop. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Yo, sis, yo. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. It's similar right now. Brian Thorn, no day. I'm dominating, developing the routine and radical. I got to let him come to Christ. All of you are better, heavy laden. He can take a pain away when your heart is broken. He can break every chain, yeah, what's popping? I look to Christ every time, yeah, what's broken? And I stick to my faith while they keep shooting. Who shall I fear is my light and my salvation? Check, I'm a believer and now forever. Look unto Christ, no matter the weather. Cause life is unlimited. No one can measure his thoughts and do him as a rain. I got hope in Jehovah. Preaching his way from the chest to the streets. Rub it, yeah, like a vendor. Be Persecuted in most of the nations for doing what is right. I got hope in Jehovah, my superhero, no Avengers. So by the grace, I don't live for the people's acceptance. I keep receiving positive messages like a proud and accept. I got hope like an anchor. I'm sinking below the surface of the waters. Critics are floating on top of the waters and spreading the word in all directions like a rotor. You can do what you want, but you can never stop us. Hope in Christ, yeah. I got my hope in Christ. Joseph, yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a cop. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Young Sif, yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a girl. Yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Young Sif, yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a girl. Yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Young Sif, yeah. yeah. Hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Still below my knees. Under this domain of war. Put everything together. Come on, get back to the drawing board and start over. Count it all when you run the red sock under paid and the fire under pressure. God is greater than any predisposing factor of depression. Look to Him, get your faith broken. Patiently wait for the feedback. He's got your back like a rock suck. Even when you want the rest, you made it like an ice break. Keep it cool like a snowflake. Go hard like a drum back. Now I'm busy stepping on the cones next. Now I'm fully back like a hot gap. 
for the Lord is my strength Don't allow yourself to be depressed For the same power that raised Christ Lives in you so you the best I got hope in the most high They look down on me when I'm on high I keep on standing on this show dust Who's got the ball of the low dust It's greater than the one who's in the world I'm on a mission of breaking the barriers Hope in Christ I got my hope in Christ Yosef, yeah. Hope in Christ I got my hope in Christ You know like I got Hope in Christ I got my hope in Christ Yosef, yeah. Hope in Christ I got my hope in Christ yeah, hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Young Sif, yeah. hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You know, like a yeah. good hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. Young Sif, yeah. yeah, hope in Christ. I got my hope in Christ. You still know I need. Yeah. Shout out to my big King Nutch. Let's go. King Nutch. <laughs> hope in Christ. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. That was Trevor Ings. We are about to say our bad buys, but before we do that, we are just going to sing Happy Birthday for the big man in the Unza Busa song. So. <laughs> Yeah, let's say it's gonna be like this. Ah, eh, oh, eh, Nani, and the birthday. Ah, thank you for tuning into the Art Embodiment Show. It's a bye bye. It's a Thursday and it's your favorite show of your week and we are back on your screens. You know, Jesus interacted among them. He went with the tax collectors. He 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 went, he says, hey, it says Zacchaeus, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. That began before the beginning began. He that will never end if the end was to end. Pray. You wiped away my tears. Very good. I cannot have any photo whatsoever. Therefore, looking for.